Hey everybody, my name is Rido, and today we start a series on a game called The Dig. Now, The Dig was released by LucasArts about 25 years ago. It is a sci-fi story. We're about to watch the intro to get the rest of the story. Just take it into your mind that, yes, this is a 25-year-old game. The resolution is, is going to be a little low, so the quality is going to be uh, less than what you're normally used to as far as 3D hyper realistic animation otherwise it's a point click adventure game let's begin that's all we really needed to know LucasArts is now owned by Disney although Disney did announce that they're not gonna make video games anymore so they could easily license out games like this and make a remaster of this game if they wanted to have somebody make a remaster Disney won't do it and Disney only bought LucasArts a couple years ago when they bought Star Wars this is the loneliest place on earth most exciting thing ever happens here is a day when it don't rain Excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Green on green backgrounds. Kind of hard to read. Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three week collision course with Earth. Look at this animation here. Ambitious, but really low and then it's trademarked I don't know if 25 years ago there was a reason to trademark a game instead of copyright it maybe the, the laws were different been named Attila. certainly the wouldn't stand up Huns, in court probably who today devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo according to NASA sources the probability of impact with Earth is 99% If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Excuse me. Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. <laughs> in going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright. I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. 
As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. And we've got to do it right. But this all is a heavily ambitious intro. Heavy info dump, too. It's like a movie. In fact, it feels a lot like a movie because they made a movie based on the same pretense, at least, uh, where asteroids coming to Earth. I think I think they made two movies about this asteroids about on a collision course with Earth. You have to get up there and blow it up. It's based on a concept by Steven Spielberg. Maybe he made a movie later. Maybe he made a movie. I don't know. Well, it's certainly not just a movie tie-in. Things are gonna change. Low here. Come on out, kids. The water's fine. So... Province here. Going independent. As we're entering the beginning of the game, I could've cut all that cutscene, but... To the you kinda world needed world that. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Here, going independent. Independent in means that they're detaching themselves from an internal connection inside the bay there. Howdy, Brink. I assume. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. So we're at the game. So very, very ambitious graphics, but since they're 25 years old, they, they are really, really bad looking by today's standards. 640 by 480 resolution getting scaled up here to fit a 1080p screen. You'll see black bars on the right and left because of that. Uh, the other thing I want to say before we start playing this point-and-click adventure game is that this covering dig is in a direct response to covering a game that came out in 2015 called The Silent Age that I just played. And it had some voice acting in it, but only for like six conversations and then nothing else. This game was one of the first games to have full voice acting in the game. and they're very proud of it. You can see here, there's a lot of ambitions in this, a lot of pride. I would also say the Silent Age wasn't very ambitious at all because it just gave you uh, very simple puzzles for point-click adventure games that had no real difficulty in solving them and told you a very simple sci-fi story that uh, where this is going to be a little bit more complicated of a story, if I'm remembering right. This might also be a series of me just being nostalgically wrong. I may play this game that I played, I don't think 25 years ago. I think I probably only played it maybe five years ago. But I may have just be remembering it as a lot better than it was. Also, here we have our inventory. So we can examine. We have a pin ultimate which I guess is a pin tablet type thing. We have an arming key and we have a flashlight. So examine the pin ultimate. This is my pin ultimate personal digital assistant. PDAs. We don't have PDAs anymore. We call them cell phones because they can make calls. PDAs couldn't make cell phone calls. It's the arming key for the explosives. The arming key for the explosives. Standard issue flashlight. That's a standard issue flashlight for NASA? Okay. And then, so you, you see examine is right here in this. Uh, it also is probably worth it pointing out that this is probably running using the back end of the Scum VM engine, which really doesn't mean much, but that project has done a lot of work to play to, to get point click adventure games to continue to work as time goes forward. and. It is quite amazing that a 25-year-old game for Windows 95 can run on Windows 
10 in 2016 and it does run immediately from Steam I, this is the Steam version no real trouble at all uh, now you might have a little bit of trouble if you hit alt enter and go in the full screen it might not show you these things the these options at the bottom or something but as long as you're in windowed mode you're fine so if you want to talk to people you click on them Frank, this is low. Do you read? I also turned on Frank, the text yeah, I read you. this by default was off you saw that my settings turned down the audio to half so I can ask a question say something profound stop talking switch to Robins or talk to the flying pig which I assume is either this device here or the entire ship so let's ask a question are you getting a good look at the asteroid Frank? I have hardly looked at anything else commander interesting interesting system instead of choosing in dialogue you just could choose to choose your action and it happens have you noticed anything unusual interesting no one has ever been this close to an asteroid before commander I cannot possibly know what is usual or unusual interesting so I can just exhaust this until he starts repeating is there anything that should make us reconsider the placement of the charges the original choice of quadrant seems adequate, Commander. Do you see any problems, Frank? As you Americans might say, Commander, we will kick until his butt. Americans? Do you see any problems, Frank? As you Americans might say, Commander, we will kick until his butt. So, still an issue there where once you exhaust it, you do end up saying repeating yourself let's say something profound happy to set foot on a new world Frank Attila is a very old world commander it is merely new to us let me know if you see anything unusual with the asteroid no problems yet commander now there's not gonna be any walking around in this scene of course oh it's it went blue went from red to blue let me know if you see anything unusual with the asteroid. interesting so it does indicate no problems that I've exhausted commander. everything so let's click on the flying pig everything okay with the pig everything's fine as far as I can see commander miles can tell you more than I can and see that went blue oh so I can just exhaust it and get it all blue nice nice system sir? Very unorthodox bringing a reporter on a space mission. It is really but ridiculous. She is very capable and she writes interesting stories. Particularly a, a space mission to stop an asteroid from destroying the planet. Uh, that could never really happen these days. Low out. It would have to be something with a very, very fast trajectory that we completely missed for some random random reason that an asteroid would be on its way and we wouldn't have at least months if not years to prepare for it and robins come in robins this is robins so we'll talk to robins this is already probably more conversation than all of the silent silent age Right now, Commander Lowe. Hmm. So it starts off as black and it will go blue when it's done. I hope you can find something interesting for your lead. Wow. Commander Lowe, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm just trying to be friendly. And I'm trying to be a good crew member. Can't you forget for even one second that I'm a reporter? I want to make sure you're having a wonderful time, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. It's like... So now it's blue. It does have a blue highlight when you click on it, too, though. So that's slightly hard to see. But part of the problem on the resolution here is it's 
probably just 256 colors, too. Have you looked up at the Earth? Uh, that's what the resolutions of oh, computers 25 years ago Earth. could probably do. Um, the we could we went from 256 colors to being able to do 16 million colors to being able to do I think 60 uh. 16 million then 32 million or billions they don't even tell you now we have so many colors that we could display on on a screen it's it's more than what we could probably as a human eye determine I thought it was something you might want to write about I actually had a pretty good career as a writer before I had you to think of ideas for me commander <laughs> They're really pounding on the fact that she's a writer, and, and it, it's good that we're getting characterization of the characters, but it's it's very one-note characterization, uh, and it's happening so fast, it's a little strange. I wonder if we'll probably end up switching between these three characters. I don't actually remember playing this game, so it's almost going to be like the playing it for the first time. I'll probably remember a few things. I just want you to be happy. Write nice things about us. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. Very, very happy. They they try to have the lips move while they're talking, even though the lips are literally probably only five pixels. I hope you're still happy, Robbins. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. So now it's blue. Just exhausting everything here. This isn't how the whole game goes, by the way. This is kind of an introductory, just conversation stuff. What do you think of our archaeologist, Brink? I'm very impressed with his experience. He headed the U.S. Geological Survey team that mapped the surface of Venus. He'll be taking a close look at the asteroid to make certain the detonation points they've chosen are suitable. That's interesting, map the surface of Venus. Last time I heard, there was only two, two launches that ever made it past Venus's thick, toxic gas atmosphere to actually even see the surface of Venus. And that would have just been a very small portion of it. So I don't think we have done that. They, they probably didn't do the research or this is in a slightly different universe than our own but actually yeah I, I don't think we know that much about Venus's surface from as we should but it's kind of hard to to bother sending spaceships and probes to it when they all break up in the toxic acid atmosphere see that big tool chest we call it the pig I've logged a hundred hours working with every tool in the pig, Commander Lowe. How would you have that much time? That That's what's really getting me about her being a, a journalist and an astronaut. It's like, unless you were a only writing articles about being uh, NASA stuff, which would make you kind of a specialist journalist, and you were an astronaut first, I don't see how you would have that time. I guess somebody could. As far as I can see, Commander. So we've exhausted the conversation oh, wow. with those two. Let's actually get to some action now. There, you just kind of have to pixel hunt here to see what you can click on. Uh, Brink Robbins, we already clicked on. We have the tool chest. We can't click on ourselves. There's an asteroid here that seems to allow us to click anywhere over in this corner to move, look at the asteroid or maybe move to it so let's click on the tool chest first what we're actually supposed to be doing right now it's the pig I don't know payload specialist miles needs to use a remote arm to release it so we need to we would need to talk to Miles to release it or do we want it released right it's now? It's the pig. 
Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. And let's see. We have our penultimate. We can use it as a comm. Oh, it is almost like a cell phone. And then we have asteroid to lander. Ah, uh, wow. So, th we have now been thrown into an even older game here. Are we doing an asteroid landing here, or are we just playing the game? So I'm feathering the the thrust here to lower our Y velocity. In anybody who's somewhat good on uh, Kerbal Space Program is probably slightly familiar with this. It's in centimeters per second, though. But I still feel like I'm going to just hit land or destroyed. This game cheats. <laughs> this game cheats. Let's see. Like, full thrust. I didn't click anywhere fast enough. Y velocity hmm. This game cheats. How do we get out of it? Hmm. You create a new crater in the asteroid fuel tank destroyed, lost two hundred kilograms of fuel. NASA simulators are easier. <laughs> so, there's a game inside the game. Let's see, does space get us out of this? No, space just pauses. No, no dialogue here for that because one would assume his little PDA can't Damn. talk to him. Let's see. Mission aborted with the escape button. Okay. Had to grab the keyboard for that one. So let's use the comm. And we could talk to Maggie, we could talk to Brink, we could talk to Borden, and we could talk to Miles. And let's see. Brink. Brink. Come in, Brink. Brink here. Let's see. And we have everything back here Low out. and so I don't think I need to talk to Brinker Robbins using the comm since we're right there and we've already exhausted that let's click on the arming key nothing click on the flashlight nothing click on the comm again so Brink or Maggie no Borden and Miles I think Borden is the pilot so we can talk to him Borden this is low do you read I'm here boss well, and see, when you get a close-up face-up on it, it is much better detail, much better scale. Are we in position, Ken? Attila's given us less gravity than I expected, but the attitude jets are compensating. You're saying Attila is less massive than we expected. Hey, maybe Attila's nothing but a big old bubble. How do we know what's inside an asteroid? Let me know if you notice something that would change our mission parameters. Sure thing, boss. We're, we're right playing now, this. Still is sleeping like a baby. Quite like an actual, or at least somewhat closer than normal to an actual NASA mission. You ready for us to park Actually talking to people, actually planning, Everything actually being position, careful, boss. instead of just automatically. Uh, saying release the toolbox and let's go let's just run let's just try everything any problem with us taking the pig now ken just tell miles and you can take the little squealer to market and see that's what we've been that's been our goal it would have been nice if they had said it directly before we started the scene Low out. the 
there is a slight danger here that the, there might be some game over scenes. So, if I play poorly and don't save enough, I could potentially die and and then have to replay a section. But I don't think it's going to be that bad, really. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Yeah, 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 Boston. I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> uh, did they both say that at the same time? Or was that just an echo? How's it My opponent is demanding equal time and space. With or without a suit. Just don't screw up the mission, Boston, and I'll be in Congress next January. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Till my opponent offers you more money. <laughs> I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Only if you move to Mississippi, Boston. Okay, so she's from Mississippi. I was trying to figure out where she was from. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Maybe if somebody helps you figure out the levers in the voting booth. So, apparently I can say this a few times. I just want you to know, you've got my vote, Cora. Oh, you finally learned how to make an X. I just want you to know, you've got my vote. <laughs> Oh, I've already got the aging astronaut vote locked up. There's still more of them. Wow. It's, it's nice we have the indicator that the, that there still are, still are more responses. Although it's kind of silly to sit here and just do them all. I just want you to know. Get all these quips. And I haven't even paid you your dollar yet. I just want you to know you've got my vote. Just don't tell anyone else, Boston. It might cost me the election. I suspect what's going to happen is this character is not going to play too much in the game, and so they're giving her a lot of dialogue right now. A couple famous voice actors. I didn't recognize the names, but I just want you to know. Uh, you my vote, according to Wikipedia, some good voice actors don't were hired for this game. Lucas Arts could do could afford certain those type of things and voice acting so far is something to be proud of 25 years ago for me 20 times Boston and I still won't marry you <laughs> but uh, voice acting in games in particular isn't gonna really go get worse over the time over 10 years voice acting isn't gonna magically be better so if it's good when you first start it will be good when you're finished. The quality of the recordings might be a little low, but people usually don't care about audio quality that much anyways. I just want you to know you've got my So if you were gonna make a remaster of this game, you really would only have to remaster the visuals. I don't think you have to go back and re-record things unless you re change the story or change the dialogue. I just want you to know you've got my book. on your first launch. <laughs> um, it's like... I'm not sure they changed the audio at all in the Day of the Tentacle remaster that was just released. I just want you to know you've got... They certainly changed the graphics. Well, ain't you sweet. And finally, that's way too many responses for just sitting here one time. I guess you could probably have spread it apart through the game, but I, I am the obsessive type of people, person that wants to do it all here at once. We're ready when you are, Cora. Just give the word, Boston, and you got yourself a pig. And there's only one response for that. So give me the pig. Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Is clear. Proceed. Yeah, this feels very Steven Spielberg y of 
feels like a movie. Maybe they wanted to do a movie and just couldn't couldn't actually do these the level of graphics that make them seem realistic, so it's a lot easier to do something like that in a video game where you don't know, there isn't as high of a demand for realism. Everything fine with the pig core? Looking sweet, Boston. You just be good to my baby. So we'll launch our move there and the scene has changed and I think we can get one screen in 30 minutes because I've moved really slow really really slow you be good to my baby Boston you hear me we'll be back soon Cora try not to miss me too much well we had a really long intro uh, scene that was kind of a tutorial mission and so we had that really long intro scene we had a lot of info dump we're getting to know these characters quite well on, for a video game it's like Brink and Robbins I I know who Robbins is now if you told me if you just said Robbins if you said Brink I know he's the archaeologist guy at least I know who Boston and Miles are, although I'm not sure they're really going to play a big part of anything. And I know what the Flying Pig is, so we've got the introduction of the major elements going, but we really did only get to one screen. So there is a lack of instructions with this in Steam, so that is one thing. Hitting F1 or F5 will bring up the menu, and then click here to save and then click here to save and then type in something so we'll type in one and then we will save and I could hit space to pause and that's really the only buttons that do anything besides escape actually gets you out of the asteroid game and I bet if I hit the arrow keys left and right on the asteroid game I could probably do that no Steam achievements for doing any of these things. It's, it's not possible unless they remastered it really to have a Steam achievement for this game other than maybe beating the whole game. But even that might be rather difficult because this is one of those point click adventure games, one of those old style games in general where it's kind of designed to be played in one sitting and there aren't auto saves of anything. So that's why when I clicked on a character that I had already exhausted all the dialogue to, when I clicked on him again, it seemed like all those settings were gone and I it wanted me to, or would at least allow me to go through all the comments again. Or maybe it would only give me the last comment again, but not a heavy amount of auto-saving of things or remembering of things. We've gone 30 minutes. I imagine this one is not going to be the longest series ever games don't have a tendency that are 25 years old games that are 25 years old don't have a tendency to be super long games but then they kind of do too uh, a lot of these point click adventure games ma made themselves rather long by being complicated and by having a lot of dialogue you can see here in comparison to the Bro the Silent Age, not the Broken Age. I'm not. I'm done talking about the Broken Age. There's not that much to really say about it. Uh, but in comparison to the Silent Age, it's like dialogue and dialogue and dialogue and explanation. For sci-fi stories in particular, particularly 25 years ago, you've got to spoon feed people and build that world and explain everything. Otherwise, there will be confusion. Otherwise, people won't feel like they're immersed in the universe. Anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. I end all my recordings the same way. I ask you to like this video. I ask you to share it with your friends. I ask you to comment if you want to. And I ask you to watch every second of my videos because all of that helps me with YouTube tells them that my videos are worth watching. 
if you want to support me even further than that and it would be appreciated you can click on my name to get to my main YouTube page and on the right is a blue button that says support this channel you can click that and make a donation also on my main YouTube page is a playlist tab you can click that and see a playlist for every game I've ever covered there's a lot of them I'm sure you'll find something interesting and most of them are a little bit newer or a lot newer than this one so I don't do just completely retro games uh, although I will do some and more as I go for forward uh, finally down below in the description box I have links to Facebook Twitter Tumblr Google Plus Steam and Battle.net and I ask everybody to follow and friend me on all the services that you're on if you follow me on Facebook Twitter or, or any of those you'll see the second I have new videos out so it's advantages it helps you and it also helps me with those services because I want as many followers as possible uh, so please do that and that's about it so thank you for watching we'll continue right here next time and have a good evening. Bye.